What's up, guys? Uh, welcome back to another episode of Channel Chasers. Uh, sorry uh, for the small hiatus. Uh, I, I had a back-to-back uh, high, high school graduation for a sibling and a sibling's birthday, so was busy on the weekend. Uh, but nevertheless, we are back. We have returned, and instead of a show discussion, we're actually going to cover the 2020 TV upfronts. Now, if you're not, you know, as big into the world of TV, which I don't know why you'd be watching this podcast if you're not, but in case you're not, uh, the upfronts are usually the time of the year when networks put out their trailers and, you know, tell you what's coming up in the fall. Now, they didn't do this in the traditional manner because usually it's a whole press conference thing, uh, but obviously pandemic can't really happen. And so also, they, all of the current shows that are going on had to either end quickly or go on break because they couldn't film anymore because of pandemic. Yep. And by the way, hi, I'm here too. Yes. Oh. Yeah, sorry, Brian. I, I, I just wanted to open up before I introduce you. But yeah, Brian's here too. Uh, the full team is here. Um, but before we get started uh, with the discussion, I just want to like take this like moment to um, address certain things. So obviously, you know, most of our audience uh, from our, from the analytics that I've looked at, most of our audience lives in the U S uh, with some of our audience actually being international. So most of you who are here know what is going on and I, you know, I don't need to go into further detail about it. Uh, but, I feel that since we have a platform, no matter how small it is, we should take this opportunity to, you know, just, you know, state that, you know, we here at Channel Chasers support the Black Lives Matter movements and the peaceful, I want to emphasize, peaceful protests that are going on. This injustice shouldn't continue, and it's wrong that anyone has to constantly live in fear of this happening this is just it's not right and i just wanted to to, you know give that message of solidarity out there and you know let everyone know that is you know protesting and fighting the good fight peacefully uh that you know we support you and you know we're here with you yeah um everyone should be treated equally i know it's in the Institution, but it is true. And yeah, you know, it, you know, we we you know we're both huge comic nerds. Uh, you know, both uh, you know both of our uh, favorite uh, one of our favorite Marvel heroes in general is Captain America. Cap would definitely not, you know, stand for this if Cap was a real person. Like, he definitely would be there. So I just I just wanted to say, you know, again, our platform isn't large, but you know. Even if we reach one or two people that are feeling, you know, frustrated, angry, or upset, or, you know, even, you know, someone who is protesting and actually actively supporting the, this cause, I, I want you to know that you're not alone and we support you and believe in you. Mm-hmm. All right. So with that, you know, more serious note out of the way. Uh, this is actually going to be mostly Brian's show, um, for the most part, because uh, Brian did the legwork for this one, and uh, he has gathered up a couple articles, and basically, he's going to lead the discussion, and I'm just going to respond. We're going to go back and forth uh, about the different shows and whatnot, and, you know, some bits of TV news. Uh, there's one bit of news in particular that's pretty huge. Since we cover a lot of Arrowverse stuff, so I, I figured we should discuss that as well. All right. So um, if you wanted to start with the upfronts first. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Things are a little bit different because usually, for those that don't know, with the upfronts, each network comes out and says, okay, they do the press conference and it's like, just so you know, in case you don't keep up with TV news, these are all the shows that are currently going on. These are the ones that have been renewed. These are the ones that are ending naturally. These are the ones that are being renewed. And uh, 
these are the new ones and uh here are trailers for the new ones we don't really have that so people have had to come up with lists and stuff and compile it on their own um so uh first of all thought we should just talk about like what's been renewed what's been canceled and this isn't a complete list but i am going off of what variety uh, yeah and, ver- and variety and variety is a pretty credible source um so right, also, so, are we gonna uh, oh, real quick? Also, are we gonna like talk about like you know when things are coming back and stuff too? Is that did you are we including that in there? Well, I've got a separate article that talks about um, talks about some of the like things that are coming up in the next few months. Okay, cool, cool, cool. cool. Go ahead, continue. But as far as like cancellations, renewals, and all that. Uh, This was made at the end of May, and as of then, the renewed shows are, of course, the obvious ones, like uh, America's Got Talent, American Ninja Warrior, then uh, shows that we don't want, like uh, Blacklist, um, all three Chicago shows got renewed for three more seasons. <laughs> Three more, dang. Well, that universe's fan base is pretty strong from what I've seen. Yeah. Um, Ellen's Game of Games got renewed, too. That's a pretty fun show. I- I've seen a couple episodes because it comes on the CW right before some of the... Um... But... Um, shows that we might care about. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Nice. Brooklyn Nine-Nine got renewed. Yeah, that's awesome. Um I, I've been keeping up. Uh, I don't watch live, but I, I, I usually watch next day on Hulu. Um, yeah, that's awesome. I don't always watch it, but uh, it's cool to know. Um, whatchamacallit? Uh, da, da, da. Law and Order SVU got renewed for three more seasons. Yeah, and then on top of that, like there's the whole news that uh, Chris Maloney's coming back and getting a spinoff, so that's pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, then I don't know if you've ever heard of this show, uh, Songland. Nope. It's apparently a competition show about making songs. Oh, huh. uh, that sounds like something I but, would watch. Um, making it. I don't know what that is. But um, the medical show New Amsterdam got renewed. Uh, Okay. Good Girls got renewed. Nice. Unfortunately, I haven't watched past the first half of season one. Uh, But I've heard Um, great things. And I now know what making it is. It's the Nick Offerman like crafting show. Oh, oh, he has a crafting competition. From what I've seen, pretty good. Interesting. Then again, it also has Amy Poehler and Nick Offerman. So, oh, that's a, yeah, that's a that, that's a funny ass combo. But then you've also got Superstore. Nice. Also, uh, sad. I'm I'm really sad that like because of uh, I almost said the word. I caught myself. You ain't gonna get me YouTube uh, because we do release a YouTube version. Uh, you ain't gonna get me YouTube. Uh, I'm I'm really sad that because of the pandemic that uh, America didn't get to film her uh, goodbye episode. So I think she might be coming. They might uh, be like she might be coming back at least one more time to do that uh, for the premiere of next season. Um, uh, it hasn't been confirmed, but that's what's speculated because you know it wouldn't be right to not have a goodbye for who was the main character for a majority of the show. Yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, um, then also, uh, This Is Us. Yeah, uh, I believe it's, uh, it's, it's, um, Fogelman says that he has plans for at least two more seasons. Yep. Like, the seven is the, um, is the, fi- is what he says is going to be the final, um, which I'm glad. Uh, this season was really good, this past season, 
Um, like, so I cannot wait for the next one. Mm-hmm. It, it's probably the best season of This Is Us since the first. Um, oh, I don't know if I said, but all of this is just NBC. Well, oh yeah, I mean, I, well, with, with you mentioning Brooklyn Nine Nine and Superstore, I'm pretty sure people can infer. But if not, yeah. Um, My bad. It's been a while since I've had to take the lead on like podcasts. It's cool, dude. No worries. It's but, been a while since we've done a podcast. But yeah, um, then uh, canceled official. In case you guys didn't know, as far as NBC goes, uh, the in between, which. Sad to see that go. What was the in-between? That was the one where, um, where, uh, OG Captain Lance, the ghost show that he was on. Oh, that was the one you were, you reviewed for a little bit that Mm -hmm. had those, those weird, inconsistent breaks. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, got it. But, um... Apparently, as of right now, um, the the um, ones that are awaiting news as of late May are uh, America's Got Talent, the champions. I've never heard of this. Bluff City Law. That's a new one. That like oh here. also forgot to say um the other the other big cancellation was Sunnyside. Oh yeah, I heard, I heard about that. Um, but also waiting news is Council of Dads. Really already? Well, um, the season didn't even. The... I was gonna say, didn't the season not start yet? Well, it, only, um, it only dropped one episode. I think it's just like they're saying that we don't know if it's going to be canceled or not come. Like, since it is so new. Oh, I was going to say, because like it only dropped one episode. I don't think it's actually officially started yet. And uh, Indebted. That's the new Fran Drescher comedy. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um... Manifest. Okay, so that that one, yo, know, I I hope that one doesn't get canceled. Uh, I haven't kept up, but uh, Elizabeth has, and from what I've heard, it's really good, and it ended on a really really big cliffhanger. Oh, okay. Uh, Perfect Harmony. That's a good show. I thought it was really funny. Uh. That was that was one of the NBC comedies that I kept up with. Uh, Anna, I mean, it's Anna Camp, man. Uh, and uh, what the hell is that guy's name from Handmaid's Tale? Bradley Whitford. Oh, Bradley Whitford. There you go. Thank you. And Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. Really? Is Zoe on the bubble? I heard that was doing really well. Um, well, it's awaiting news. It's not. These shows aren't on the bubble. They just haven't said whether or not they're going to be renewed for a new season or not. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Because Perfect Harmony is really good. I enjoyed that. And um, I'm a few, I'm like way behind on Zoe, but I like the episodes that I watched. I was honestly just going to wait for it to go on like Hulu or something and just watch the whole thing. All right. And I also. Or I think NBC does Netflix, so I think I'll watch it on Netflix. So yeah, go ahead. My bad. I was just going to say, uh, I've realized now that we could go on for a while, so I'm going to try to skip shows that we don't really care about and talk about here. Yeah, sure, sure. That that makes but, sense. Um, but I will say that it is kind of interesting that um, they actually have a show that was canceled but was saved by Peacock. Really? AP, AP Bio. Bi- oh, yeah, AP Bio. I heard about that. And then lastly, shows that are ending naturally. Uh, Blind Spot, which I always meant to go and watch. Um, obvious, I heard that was really good. Obvious, The Good Place. R.I.P. That was a great finale. Fantastic finale. Indeed, if, you haven't seen our, if, if you haven't seen our episode on The Good Place, go watch our, go listen to our, I said watch, like you could watch it. I mean, you could watch it on YouTube, but 
go listen to our episode on the good place. It's fantastic. Um, and then, um, Will and Grace. Yeah, um, I'm, uh, that ending was pretty solid. I enjoyed it. Uh, it got two. It got two new seasons out of it. Um, Demi Lovato was great. Um, also, uh, there was an episode where Billy Lord came in as um, Grace's niece. Because, you know, Grace's mom was uh, Debbie Reynolds Mm -hmm. in the original show. So that was really cool. Nice. But, yeah. um, Now let's move on to ABC. Um, Skipping the shows that we don't care about. A show that I've been, I watched some of and I've been meaning to catch up on. American Housewife. Um, I've never seen it. Elizabeth keeps talking about it. She loves it. Um, but you know who plays the husband slash dad, right? No, who plays the husband slash dad? Uh, Brave and the Bold Batman. Oh, Diedrich Bader. That's awesome. Yeah. Diedrich Bader is the shit. Love that guy. Yeah, he he um, plays the dad in that show. Um, it it's really funny from what I saw. But oh yeah, um, no, Elizabeth really loves it. So I'm probably gonna watch it at some point. Uh, then, um, so that another show that I've been meaning to catch up on, The Connors. Uh, don't, uh, don't watch it, uh, but I've heard good things. Yeah, especially because in the new one, Katie Seagal comes in. That's cool. As, like, the new romantic interest for Dan Aykroyd. Oh, Interesting. Uh, then the Goldbergs, uh, the Good Doctor. Hell yeah! Love that show, man. Love that show. Um, I don't know if either of us watch this or not. The Rookie? Um, no. Uh, I, I watched the pilot, didn't like it, never got, never tried it past that. Um, mixed dish got renewed as oh, well cool. as blackish. I, I meant to wa- I meant to watch mixed dish. Uh, I want to also catch up on grownish, but like the only ish I'm on top of is blackish, which also got renewed. Um, nice. And uh, I don't know if you watch this or not. Station nineteen. Nope. But big one for us, uh, big one, which is a show that I've been meaning to catch up on and I loved, what I saw, uh, Slump Town. Oh, yeah, dude. I, I loved what I saw of that, too. Uh, I, I do need to catch up on it. Well, who is the, the big character? Who is the, who is the big actor that was announced to come on to there? Stump Town? Yeah, there was a, yeah, they got a big, they got a new they got a big actor for a new character. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember. Oh well. Either way. But. But yeah. Um. And big one for us, which we is another show that we've covered, and we said that we didn't know if it was getting another season or not. Luckily, it is. A million little things. Yeah! <laughs> Thank God. I was, I was like, so worried. Because, yo, they can't end it there. They can't end it there. That would be so unfair. Um, mm-hmm. Um, then, uh, sadly enough, we need to talk about uh, cancellations. Um... Unfortunately, Emergence got canceled. Yeah, that that sucks for uh, that sucks for Carrie Coon. Um, that ha- that was really interesting. I watched the first episode and just never got around to it because I kept forgetting about it. Um, but yeah, it really same. Cool. But I did I did love Clancy Brown as like badass grandpa, right? And the like the 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 mothers the surrogate mother like daughter relationship was really interesting, uh, but mm-hmm. that sucks. Also, Donald Logue. Yeah, that that sucks, man. Um, uh, bless this mess got 
canceled. That looked pretty bad, if I'm being honest. Uh, so, not surprised. But it had uh, Rita Moreno in it. Well, you know, it's not like she's out of work now. Nope. Um, but also got canceled is uh, Schooled. The, yeah, the, uh, yeah, yeah, the Goldberg spinoff. Uh, yeah, it wasn't that good. And a show that you told me about. Uh, Grand Hotel. Yeah, that one. That, that they 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 took it they took itself too seriously. I was thinking it was it looked like it could be like a Jane the Virgin subversive type show, but nah. And then a show that I had been meaning to check out, but it still ran for two seasons. Uh, single parents. Oh yeah, I heard I heard good things about that one. That was the that was the one where um like it's a bunch of single dads, right? Single parents. Um, oh, I, for some reason I was thinking of like the show where it was a bunch of single dads and like I think it was like Ray Romano was in that. Uh, that's a different show, but oddly enough, this has a this has a character related to Ray actor related to Ray Romano. Is it the, is it the brother from everybody? Really, Brad Garrett. Huh. Yeah, Elizabeth this said looks like Brad Garrett. That's funny. This had Brad Garrett, Langdon Meester, and uh, SNL's Taryn Taryn Gillum. Oh, nice. Uh, it looked funny from what uh, I saw, but I've been meaning to I check mean, two, it out. I mean, two seasons isn't a slouch. You know, there are plenty of one season wonders that we loved. Guys. <laughs> yup. Um. Then uh, shows that are on the bubble. Um. Oh, real quick side note. Uh, just just real quick, small side tangent. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned before about Peacock. Um, how AP Bio was saved for, uh, was saved by it. A lot of I've uh, like this isn't confirmed, but at least a lot of the Rise fandom is trying to push for them to bring Rise back on Peacock. And if it happens, I might have to get me back. <laughs> yeah, same. But also the fact that Rise has teens in it, and it's been such a long time. Yeah, and they and some of the, and those actors probably found work on other places, so it's pro- it's very unlikely. But you know, you never know. I'm just gonna hold out a little easy weensy bit of hope there. Yeah, and then um, Beauty and the Baker is awaiting news. Oh, oh, yeah. the Baker that's a and new the Beauty. one, right? Yeah, that's a new one, right? Yeah, it it's a new one. I've heard good things. Yeah, it looked pretty funny from the commercials. Yeah, it it looks good. Um, but moving on, uh, endings. If you know TV, you know this. Uh, fresh off the boat. How to Get Away with Murder. Yep, yep, yep. Ages of Shield and Modern Family. Oh, man, let me tell you, the Modern Family one, uh, that one, that one hit me. That one hit me. I don't know about you, Brian, but I, I've, watched, I've watched Modern Family since the start. I've watched it and, on and off since the start. Uh, I mean, like, okay, so I... I didn't. Uh, I didn't watch it. I mean, I I didn't uh, watch it live for a few years, but I always caught it later. Uh, man, that ending! That ending really hit. Like they end it with like you know them leaving the light on, and I'm just like, oh, oh, oh it, it was good, man. It was good. I, I'm I'm very happy for that cast. Uh, like you know. Um, Pregnant Haley, that was that was all good shit. I'm I'm gl- I'm glad I'm glad to see one of my favorites ending well. Um, in in a, in a time where a lot of my favorite shows did not. Um, mm-hmm. so, uh, like, good job to Modern Family and Fob too. Fob Fob is very solid. Uh, Constance Wu, um, you know, is on to bigger and better things. I'm sure Randall will be doing well too. Um, well, um. He's joined the MCU. Yep. Which I heard 
I heard that he's going to be on um, Wanda Vision. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. Uh, but, um, but yeah, move it. Let's move on to a different network now. CBS. Um, all rise. <laughs> I'm not gonna make the joke. Not gonna make the joke. Um, I always make this, this one joke. is the one that I believe stars uh, Misty Knight. Yep. It uh, does. Then uh, show that I've been meaning to check out: Blood and Treasure. What's that about? Uh, it's a uh, it's a duo. It's like a uh, like treasure hunting TV show about oh, a guy and a girl. See, I don't really watch much CBS, so like really, like I'm I'm just gonna be reacting to it. Although I did hear about a cancellation that I'm sad at because I did watch this show and really liked it. Uh, the FBI shows got renewed, but we don't care. I don't know if you watch this or not, but Love Island. Nope. Although it got pretty huge. Um, um Magnum PI, okay. MacGyver, the all three NCISs, uh I can't believe OG NCIS is still a thing. Oh yeah, it is, but have you seen it? Uh no offense to to Mark. I forgot his last name now. But uh when they go to action scenes, it's clearly it's clearly a stunt double with a really bad wig. Damn. Is is Tony is Tony still there? Or is McGee still there? Who's still there? Uh McGee is the only McGee and uh Ducky are the only OGs that are still there, I believe. Damn! Even, even even Palmer and Abby left? Damn. I don't know about Palmer, but I but Abby left because the actress faced some like bad things. Like Mark oh, brought gotcha, his dog gotcha. to set and it attacked her. Ooh. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, if you guys want to know more about it, just Google it. Uh, she's been very vocal about it. Um, but, but yeah. Um, then you've got. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen it before, but Mom. Nope. Uh, Seal Team, SWAT, all those like your dad's favorite shows. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my dad does watch all those. Uh, the unicorn got renewed. I've been meaning to check that out. I don't know about you. What's that about? Uh, it's Walter Goggins' new show. Oh, okay, okay. About yeah, anything being... Walter, anything Walter Goggins does is hilarious. It's about so... being a single dad who um has a job, cooks, and is like. The oh, unicorn. that kind of oh, that kind of unicorn. You're a rare breed. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. And then uh, mm. another show that I've been meaning to check out more of, Young Sheldon. Yeah, I've heard good things about it. And ever since uh, Hollywood, which by the way, uh, that that actually was received really well. Uh, we got like a, a, a nice amount of plays nice. on it. So thank you guys. Thank you. But um, but yeah. Now we got to go to the sad news. Um, I don't know if you ever heard of this, but Tommy, Edie nope. Falco's new show. Nope. Man with a Plan, Joey's show, finally got canceled. <laughs> uh, God friended me. This is the one I was sad about. This was a really good show with a really interesting concept. But you know what it also means, though? What? There's more of a chance now that Jesse could come back. On Flash. Oh, yeah. True, true, true. Uh, Carol, second act. Nope, never heard of that. That was... It started the mom from Everybody Loves Raymond, the wife. Oh, cool, cool. And it was about a woman late in her life who was getting back into... Following her dream job of becoming a doctor. Okay, interesting. Um, then Sad broke. to see that go. Sad to see this one go. This was Abby's <laughs> new show. 
that also had How the you... dad from Jane the Virgin. How did you know the title of my autobiography? But yeah, this one was Abby's new show with the dad from Jane the Virgin. Oh, man. That sucks. Yeah, and then uh, endings. Uh, Hawaii Five-0. Heard that ended well. Uh, never watched it, but glad glad to see it ended well from Madam what I've Secretary. heard from people that do. That show went on forever. Also, like, it's syndicated on the CW. It always comes on right before Supergirl. Well, for me. speaking about shows that I never thought would end, and it was actually kind of sad to see it go. Criminal Minds. I never saw that one. Um, that's another one Elizabeth is into. Um, I, I missed like a season or two at the end, but for what I was watching, um, I liked it. Um, I watched the spinoff that got canceled. Uh, enjoyed that. Oh, there were two. I believe there the, were two. Spin-offs. The board, the borders one. Oh yeah. Well, there was the, another the one, one that's, that that. Wait, the, no, no, yeah, the one that had everybody hates first guy. Like that's the one I watched. Is that the Borders one? Yeah, that's the Borders one. Mm-hmm. There was another one where um, it starred uh, it it starred Forrest Whitaker. Um, God, what's her name again? Um, the girl from Mystery Men. Crap! I know who you're talking about. Um. And several other familiar faces. Uh, oh, Constantine. Matt Ryan. Oh, si- side note. Side note. Yeah. Did Evil get renewed? Evil is um, CBS, right? That was... Uh... Oh, yeah. I totally missed out. I just jumped. But, yeah. Uh, Evil got renewed. And uh, good, so did good, Tony's good, good. new show, Bull. Good, good, good. Um, I will, I don't really care about Bull, but Evil was good. Evil was really good. Uh, Mike nice. Coulter is great in that. I, I'm happy to see him. All right, um, now let's do move well. on to Fox. Uh, both nine one ones got renewed. Nice. Uh, only saw the first season. Um, actually, we both only saw the first season because we did an episode. We did an OGCC on that. Um, we did the first two, um, I believe. No, the the second one wasn't out when we did the epi- that episode. We only did oh, the yeah, first season. Oh yeah, that's right. Because the second uh, one is the season with Jennifer Love Hewitt. I have not seen. Oh that. yeah, I haven't seen that one either. Um, I haven't seen this either. But uh, bless the hearts. That's really funny. I watched a couple episodes. That's the Amy Poehler uh, animated show, right? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's really funny. I, I dug it. Uh, Bob's Burgers got renewed. For a season, I think it's 10 seasons deep now? That's awesome. Love uh, that show. Duncanville got renewed. I don't know if you watched that. Or is Duncanville the Amy Poehler one? I don't know. Which one is the Amy Poehler one? I don't I don't remember. I know uh, Bless the Hearts has Maya Rudolph in it. Okay. Uh, uh, Duncanville... want to say that's the 84 one well i i watched bust the hearts too and that was also funny duncanville i'm pretty sure is the amy polar i know that this cartoon. one has uh the dad from from modern family and yeah yeah mm-hmm. oddly enough with khalifa yo he is great i'm i'm glad he's like I mean, not that I don't like his music, because I do love his music, but I'm really glad he's found a really good, like, second lane with acting. Yeah, um, as ridiculous as it was, I did really like, uh, How High. Dude, uh, that was, yeah, that's, it's pretty fun. But, continuing the animation, uh, Family Guy, um, obviously, and The Simpsons, obviously, uh. Uh, then uh, going on to more shows, the the rest I believe are shows that we don't watch. Uh, Prodigal Son got renewed. I so I watched that one, but I did not like watch the last few episodes. Um, but it was really good. I dig it. It's really interesting. 
Very um, suspenseful. The resonant. It kind of remind. It kind. It kind of reminds me of uh, Forever a little bit. It gives me a little bit of that vibe. Nice. Of that old ABC gym. Nice. Um. And uh, lastly, the resident got renewed. Okay, good for the resident. Uh, then a um, bunch of comedies got canceled. Um, <laughs> outmatched. That was the new Jason Biggs. Tell me, oh. I didn't hear anything about. I told yeah, I was just saying, I didn't even. I was gonna say I didn't even know that existed. Yeah, it was about it was about him and him and uh, Maggie Lawson raising a family of I think it was four and three were geniuses. Hmm. Uh, this one was sad to hear, but almost family got canceled. Oh dang, that one was pretty funny. Uh, I was so glad, and I'm so glad to hear this cut because what the fuck? Uh, um, BH90210. What the hell? I forgot, I forgot that was a thing. Yeah. And a show that I was sad to see go, even though I hadn't seen it yet, a Deputy. What was that one? That one, that one was the Stephen Dorff new show. Oh. But the reason why I was sad to see it go is because it also starred uh, Bex Taylor Klaus. Oh, dang. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, then, um, awaiting. We don't really care about those. Um, hasn't premiered yet, so I returned yet. We don't care about any. Oh, um. Oh, uh, quick question. Um, in ABC, did what did we? Was there any news on For Life? Because I've been watching that recently, and I really like it. For Life. The Fifty Cent Show, you know, or is that on Fox? I'm pretty sure that was ABC. Hmm. Huh. You know oh. what I'm talking about, right? It's it's the Fifty Cent Show. Where the where the guy who was sentenced to death for a crime he didn't commit is a lawyer inside jail. That was ABC. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, was there any news on that? Because uh, I don't remember. I don't think you mentioned it. I'm going back up. Oh. It's still awaiting news. Okay, 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 cool, cool, cool. Yeah, because so I've, I've been, bad. I've been watching it recently, and I've, I really enjoyed it. Uh, then, um, the Great North. Don't even know what that is. Uh, it's upcoming for Fox. It's an. An animated sitcom about Canada, uh, Alaska. Oh, and uh, it's about a single dad, Beef Tomlin. He juggles his life, keeping his kids close together, including being involved in his daughter's. Artistic dreams in the local mall, apparently. Uh, but it it stars uh, Nick Offerman. Okay, cool. And uh, Jenny Slate is in it. Nice, solid, solid. And I think Offerman's wife is also involved. Megan Mullally. Oh, yeah, Megan Mullally. Karen Walker. I almost I almost said Karen. And I was like, no, her name is Megan. Her, she's not actually Karen. Uh, but we don't know if it's going to premiere this year or not. It's, uh... Okay. And, because they actually, like, touched on some of their, uh, upcoming, like, new shows. Um, another one is, I believe it's a reality show called Ultimate Tag. Ultimate tech. 
Because <laughs> I feel like that's how it's supposed to be said. Uh. Oh yeah, it's a it's a reality show. Um, okay. And then the other new show that I believe that they have is called a uh, Filthy Rich. Oh, I heard about this one. It stars Kim Cattrall. Oh, interesting. And uh, it's kind of like uh, it's basically. This dude who uh, ran a very wealthy, wealthy Southern family is framed for creating a Christian. He created a Christian television show. Dies in a plane crash, and so all of his like money and wealth and stuff is going on. It looks like it's like a Southern fried soap opera type show. Oh, so it's kind of like Dallas E, like where it's like a family bid for power. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, uh then we have a show that was I believe canned, but then saved by another place. The Orville. Yeah, it's uh, gonna be on Hulu. Yep. And then uh we don't know when. Uh but it's supposed to be sometime this year. And then um and then uh, their their only ending naturally show of this season is uh, Empire. Well, well, you know, with everything that happened in Empire, <laughs> I don't think it could go any much longer. Or not not in the in show, but you know, outside the show. Um, but yeah, uh, back to the Orville real quick. Uh, one thing that I did hear confirmed about the Orville is that the episode will, instead of being um, 30 minutes long, will be an hour long now. Um, oh, interesting. Because uh, so, McFarlane really wants to go full Trek. Uh, and nice. that's going to be awesome. Because uh, season two was very, very much more like a TNG style series. Uh, more serious than funny, but still funny. Um, nice. And I, I really, I love that show, dude. It's great. I need to catch up. Uh like, uh, like I know a lot of people have negative opinions on McFarlane, but when he cares, shit is good, and he <laughs> clearly cares. It's weird though, because McFarlane's kind of like the comedy Ryan Murphy. Yeah, exactly. That's essentially what he is. He he is the Mar- Ryan Murphy of comedy, even though Ryan Murphy also does comedies. Um, but yeah, all right, moving on. I just wanted to mention the Orville because that's one of my favorite shows. Our last like network to talk about like officially because the others, the other like cable networks, they don't really do upfront things. Mm-hmm. Is uh, probably the easiest one to talk about, but this one is also where the other news comes in. Probably. Yep. 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 The CW. Dare to defy. And. Before we talk about that, the news that involves CW, just have it known that uh, basically they renewed everything. Yeah, they, pretty much. This is the easiest one. They renewed All American, Black Lightning, uh, Burden of Truth, which uh, that is their. Uh, yeah, that's that's the off season show, right? Um, it has uh, Lana Lang in it. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. regrettably charmed. God damn it! This show. Uh, just, why won't you die? Legends of Tomorrow. Good, good, good. Dynasty. Um, you know, I like. You know, I I joke about not liking that show, but Liz Gillies is in it, and like, I'm just happy Liz Gillies is getting work. Cool. Uh, you know who Liz Gillies is, right? No. That's Jade from Victorious. Oh, nice. Um, Flash. In the Dark. Legacies. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> you, need, uh, you need to catch up on In the Dark. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Legacies got renewed, of course. Yeah, nice. Nancy very Drew. Happy. Very, very happy. Um, also, of course, uh, Supernatural is gonna 
you know, officially wrap up because they can't not have a proper finale. Yeah. Um. So I'm. I would count that. I would count that. Well, they had it here on ending naturally, but yeah, they are going to finish out the season next year. Uh, but. Mm-hmm. Of the duh. Their few reality shows, uh, Penn and Teller Fool Us, which I've seen some of. I like it for what it is. I have a, I, I don't watch anything that's not on the CW main block, I'm gonna be honest. Um, uh, whose line is it anyway? But, um, of course, Riverdale. God, God damn it. Did we hear, have we heard anything on Katie Keene though? Uh, oh, not did, Katie, did Katie get renewed? It, it's the one show that is in limbo. But what is confirmed God. is Roswell and obviously Supergirl. And then, then weirdly enough, um, the Outpost got renewed. That's weird. You know what that is, right? That's the CW Seed show, right? Where they're like it's their, in like Antarctica or some no. shit. No, it's their off-season show that I tried covering for a while. That is like a fantasy show. Oh. It's a low-budget hmm. fantasy show. I covered it on my channel for a while. Oh, 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 yeah, that's the one that yeah I watch. I watch your video. It's like they clearly do not have the same budget that Legacy does. Oh no, <laughs> no, they do not. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, and then, the, and uh, then real um, quick. a show that I've been meaning to t- check out for, just out of curiosity, which is another one of their off-season shows, Pandora. Oh, what's it about? Is it about like the Greek figure Pandora? It's set in the year twenty-one nineteen in ninety-nine. And, uh, oh, I thought you were about to say twenty ninety nine. I was like, "What?" Twenty one ninety nine. And uh, so one hundred years after that. Yes. So it's a. Uh, it's about a. Uh, the actual like synopsis is a. Uh, a respectful young woman, who has lost everything and finds a new life, at Earth Space Training Academy. Where she finds friends, learns to, and her friends learn to defend the galaxy from threats, both alien and human. But of course, if it's an off-season show, if it's an off-season show, it definitely has does not have the budget to do all that. But of course, because it's the CW and all that secrets and conspiracies are abound. Yeah, no shit. I was gonna say that's that's. The MO for the CW. It's got, Real quick. It's got a couple it, familiar faces oh, in it, like uh one of the guys from Librarians. Nice. Uh I would I was just gonna say real quick, if Katie King does get cancelled, not only will I be upset, but this will confirm for me that the CW hates Lucy Hale. <laughs> well, apparently from what I heard, they're waiting to see how it does on streaming. Um, but it's not going on Netflix. It's going on HBO Max. I, I really don't know if anyone's going to watch Katie Keene on HBO Max when they have so much other shit to watch. Yeah. In fact, they can watch Pretty Little Liars on HBO Max. <laughs> yeah, but um, but yeah, uh, then we got to talk about the show that uh, sparks the news and is the end of us talking about uh, the renewals and cancellations and all that. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Batwoman. Yeah, so it got renewed for a second season, and then a bombshell was dropped. Mm-hmm. All right. So, the saga continues with this show. So, you know, we were originally going to do a World's Finest episode, but like I said, it was my brother's birthday, and I was busy. Um, and I and, thought it you know, ended pretty episode, well. Yeah, and, and in that episode, I was going to say, like, the first half was kind of garbage. I'm not going to front. The first half is garbage. But the second half, really good. Like, Arrow's first half is garbage. Like, 
that's not to say that the show itself is bad. But Arrow's first half was garbage. But after that, we got probably the only the sick one of the only perfect seasons of a Arrowverse show that I have seen. After that, so yeah, like, um, I'm not gonna fault Arrow. But yeah, so and uh, one thing to note about Arrow, though, the reason why it got better was because. They listened to fans, yep. and fans were really liking the bodyguard and the techie girl, so they made them regulars and helped boost the show. Yep. But you know who didn't listen to fans? <laughs> Batwoman! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah. So, so, where to begin? Um, so yeah, uh, the news officially came out that Ruby Rose, um, is not returning to play Batwoman, which, unfortunate, uh, it's sad to hear, because not only did she injure, the poor girl injure herself while filming this show, she faced a lot of backlash. Um, now, I'm not gonna, I'm not here to talk about, like, the backlash she received due to acting, because... That's, you know, I'm not going to say that's warranted, but it's subjective. But she got a lot of, like, unwarranted backlash, like, because of, like, just her being gay and st- or or not, or, or the weirdest one, not gay enough. Uh, I, I never know how that works. Um, yeah. And, and uh, yeah, so um, she also, like, stated that, like, you know, her, her life in Vancouver was not very comfortable for her. And so because of that, like she became very difficult to work with. Um, So she just decided it was better for her mental and physical health to now come back. And I respect that decision. You know what I, but you know what I don't respect? You know what I don't respect? Because we were like, okay, who could replace her? Who looks like her? And then like four different TV actors came out, and we were like, oh, okay, they'd be cool. Also, then... but also, there were these, uh, no offense to y'all, actually, no, full offense to y'all, forget it. Full offense to y'all. There are some dumbasses out here on Twitter trying to say Rosa from Brooklyn Nine-Nine should play Kate Kane. And I'm not saying Rosa, like, is not, a... Stephanie is a great actress. But y'all, y'all, <laughs> Stephanie is Hispanic. <laughs> Kate is white as snow. That's not gonna work. And then, <laughs> um, and then it came out. Um, what? Uh, the 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 Nissa from Krypton. Yep, and also the chick who whose audition tape got leaked that you know killed it, honestly, and is actually Jewish, mind you. Um, like. She like she went viral for a bit because of this news, but then the saga continues <laughs> because, because CW then out. comes out with another announcement, and they say out of respect for Ruby and what she's done for the character, they've decided not to recast Kate Kane. But instead, they are going to replace her with a brand new character. Let me repeat that. Just just for emphasis, y'all. Um, I'm no longer on the Batwoman podcast. So this isn't going to be the only place where I get to talk about this. Kate Kane. A character that has been out since the year 2006. Before gay marriage was legalized. Before gay rights were really talked about and focused on in everyday life before gay people or people of the LGBTQ community were even recognized in media like besides stereotypes like in Will and Grace and stuff like that although I love you Jack um, and Will Um, but you know that character who's represented so much for this community uh, they're just gonna nah forget her forget Kate Kane We don't need Kate Kane. We can make a new character. We've done it before. 
What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Like, I, I don't even—I don't even know what to say, man. I have no words. Like, and it's very hard for me not to have words because usually I just don't know how to shut up. But I have no words. This is probably the single dumbest decision the Arrowverse has ever made. And they did the microchip thing. Ah. You can't do this, man. Her connection. She's Batwoman because of her connection to Bruce Wayne. Unless they pull out the Birds of Prey show thing. Where it comes out that Bruce had a daughter. And she comes in and steps up. Because there is that weird time gap where Bruce is really, really old. Like, much, much older than Kate for some reason. Uh, but so then we've seen Bruce. Yeah, exactly. They introduced Bruce at the end. Spoiler for Batwoman season one's finale. They introduced Bruce at the end. And now his cousin's going to be fucking gone. And here's the worst part. Here's the worst part. There are only two ways they can do this. Either she is just going to up and leave off screen or option number two, which is the worst option that I don't think they're going to do. But hell, I didn't think they were going to just replace her with a brand new character. So I don't fucking know what they're going to do. Option number two is they fucking kill Kate Kane off screen. Mm hmm. Or. Or. To be. They bring in a stunt woman to, to be in the costume, and then they yep. kill her. Ah, it's this is so dumb. I don't even know if I want to watch the show anymore. It's no longer Batwoman. Why do I care? And well, I mean, we still got Mary. I mean, yes, but like, I, and I love Mary, but like, I'm well. I was watching this for Kate. Like, Kate is the character that I know. Kate's the character I care about. Even if, like, I wasn't the biggest fan of Ruby's acting and I made fun of it a lot. Uh, like, she got better. She was getting better. And, and you could get a better actress. The thing the that thing that gets up. me is uh, a supposed... Now, keep in mind, this is supposed. It's not completely confirmed yet. Description came out for the new character, Ryan. Yeah. Ryan Wilder. Or Ryan Wild. Uh, yeah. And, and it, it sounds like a gen it sounds like Catwoman. It's literally Catwoman's backstory. You know, but you were kinda oh, Catwoman. I, but also, you know who else it reminds me a lot of? Yeah, you said best from Nancy Drew, right? Yeah. How so though? Cause cause literally her her thing is ex drug runner. Um Turn. Beth is um, also the fact that like lives in a van. Definitely oh, not. Yeah. Oh, because oh oh because she's from the streets. Yeah. Okay. I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. 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 But still, it it's su it's just it's straight up Catwoman. They literally just replaced the prostitute part with drug runner. Now, a friend of ours on yeah Facebook yeah did... Mr. Multi yeah. Mi Mr. Multiverse came out with a really good, uh, uh, like, possible, like, way to, that, that could redeem it and save it for me. Because, obviously, like, Ryan Wilder could be, is, you know, a lot of times with these casting calls, because it was from a leaked casting call, they don't ever use the real character's name. So that, like, you know, in case it gets leaked, fans don't know. So, um, my, uh, our friend's idea was, it could be... An adult Stephanie Brown. And you know what? If they do that, I'm watching it. If they don't do that, I'm going to give it two episodes. Not even the usual three? I've learned now that I can usually tell if I'm going to enjoy an a show within one. So, like, two... But one is still, is... like, they're still working out kinks. Well, okay, so, one, 
one I can it, one I can usually tell if it's like really bad I'm gonna stop but if that but if it has enough potential I will give it two but I, I I've learned that like sometimes three is too much sometimes I can't handle three I couldn't give Betty three Betty was bad I couldn't give run three I stopped run at two um I, I gave Betty two as well uh both of those were real bad HBO delivering some duds but yeah. Uh, just I'm giving it two episodes. I'm giving it two episodes. Uh, if they don't do the Stephanie Brown thing, all right. If they do the Stephanie Brown thing, I'm gonna stick with it. Uh, uh, then, what are your thoughts? Um, we're running low on time, so um, I'm gonna try to run through it as fast as I can. But we do have some release dates like coming up for the next couple months. Okay. And I will be off tab, so stop me if we run out of time. Okay, I'm watching the clock. Um, we, oh, we're we're at an hour, so you you've got at least thir- you've got, got at least thirty minutes. So, uh, starting, um, uh, well, not a lot of shows are coming out, so we're going a little bit weird. We're going to touch like on weird, weird ones. Excuse me. Um, but on uh Monday. This Monday, June 8th, we start with L.A. Finest Season 2. Uh, this is a show on Spectrum, but it stars uh, Jessica Alba and uh, Gabrielle Union and huh. is a spinoff of the Bad Boy movie. Interesting. It, uh, she, Gabrielle Union is playing her same character. Oh, cool. And uh, then on Wednesday, June 10th, we've got uh, Bulletproof Season 2, which is a British show that they've been airing as, like, CW's off-season. And uh, it actually stars uh, Mickey from Doctor Who. Oh, nice. Uh, But it's... uh, it's a serious, like, buddy cop drama thing. But then we've got, uh... Then on June 11th, we've got Bold Type Season 4. Ugh. Really? Ugh. Because I've... I've heard good things. Ugh. It's anyway. It's one, it's uh, one of it's one of those like super hashtag feminism woke shows, man. I hate it. All right, so uh, moving on to uh, June twelfth, we've got. I don't know if you ever watched this. F is for family. I've heard of it. Never watched it. It's the Bill Burr anime. Yeah, yeah. Show for That's Netflix. It. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I've heard. Of, yeah, I'm. Uh, Phil talked about it. Um, uh, then we've got uh, Kippo and the um, yeah. Teenage and Wonder Beast Kipo. season two. Yeah, ki- it's ki- yeah, Kipo. it's ki- yep. Really excited uh, for that. Then, I'll be doing a review for that soon. Um, and then a show that I'm excited for, uh, Crossing Swords. Is that the art? No, that's not. No, that's Cur- Curse. Is the Arthurian one with Catherine Lightfoot? Uh, this one is a uh, animated show that looks like the like preschool play toys. It's about art. It's about like a uh, night time, but it's got like very adult humor. It's co-created by some of the robot chicken guys, and it actually stars uh, Nicholas Holt. Interesting. Um, I have to I'll... check that out. I'll reshare the trailer with you when we're done here. Uh, but uh, then uh, cuz uh FX PBS all of them. Uh, is Pennyworth coming back like this year or no? Nah? I don't know. Oh. Uh, but uh Because it came out around this time last year, so I thought I would ask. All right, if we got time, I'll I'll try to look it up. But um, 
But then uh, moving all the way to June 19th, we've got The Politician, season two. Uh, first season was okay, but I don't know if I want to check out season two. And then uh, Love, Victor. Really excited for that. Um, mm-hmm. Um, then um, we go to June 21st, where we've got, uh, don't know if you ever watched it, Yellowstone. Nope. Don't Henry, have don't uh, have that channel. Nosferatu season two. Okay, so I I like that show, but I don't understand why you're gonna release a whole show on the app and still air it on TV. That's dumb. Yeah, that was dumb, and it it didn't help with the views. It really didn't. Um. Also, apparently, there's a time jump between seasons. Interesting, but still, don't care. Uh, okay. But um, a show that you care about, which I hadn't seen yet, The Chai season two, or season three. Nice. I'm gl- I'm glad this is all in June. I'm glad I'm glad twenty first. I'm glad they found a way to keep the Chai going without um, without uh, what the fuck is his name? The guy from Straight Outta Compton who played Easy E that was very problematic and got all those like harassment allegations. I don't guy. know, but um, you know who I'm talking about, well, though, right? The guy who I know in. who you're talking about, but I don't know his name. Yeah, well, that guy. Uh, then, then a show that I think we are both excited for the new Perry Mason. Yeah, that, that looks pretty awesome, and it's got like uh, the guy from the Americans is young Perry, so that's cool. Matthew Reese. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, this one is a special, but I think we both might be interested in this. Uh, on Netflix on the 23rd, Eric Andre legalize everything. Oh, shit. Eric Andre has a special? Sweet. We wouldn't be able to, that's something we wouldn't cover, but I'm definitely going to watch it. I don't think it's something we, yeah, do. we um, could do like a discussion format on. Then, then, um, June 25th. We've got uh, HBO Max coming out with several things. All the things. Uh, Patrol. Yep, excited for that one. Um, going to uh, be finishing the first season party. soon. Yeah, that, that looked interesting. I saw the trailer. And uh, Adventure Time. Yeah, the Distant, Distant Land, Land specials. Really excited for those. This one is a BMO. Yeah, the first one's but, BMO. Very excited. Yep. And uh, then, uh, lastly, we don't either. Neither of us have watched it, but I think, but uh, it's still of note to mention. Uh, Twilight Zone season two. Yeah, uh, I I don't have CBS All Access, so I was not able to watch it. But I, I'm uh, glad. Then, then let's move on to uh, July 3rd, where again, Netflix, Babysitter's Club. Really excited for this. Uh, I am, yes. like, especially after how good Nancy Drew was, Netflix better blow me away. This one looks like it's going to be more family friendly but I mean, Net- Net- Nancy Drew I mean, but also Netflix does good with that type of stuff uh, so I'm I'm still you know it's it's got a good quality standard also uh this isn't american but uh they have a new Netflix has a new thing coming out uh a TV show called a uh, oh Origins. It's the grunge. Oh, it's it, what Japanese grunge. Junji is a. Oh, I, I thought you were saying Junji Ito. Um, oh, it's the grunge. No. Oh, it's the grunge. Interesting. Yo, the Japanese grunge is fucking scary. Japanese horror movies are just fu- on a whole other level. Well, apparently the Japanese making a grudge TV show. Oh, if it's Japanese, like I don't watch that because. <laughs> 
Yo, they know how to do scary shit. Um. Then, um, also that same day, we've got Hannah, season two. Uh, real quick, uh, just to let you know, ten minutes. Oh, fuck. Sorry, my bad. Uh, then, there are a lot of new shows and stuff. You guys can check it out. My bad. Uh, we'll, uh, I'll just end it by saying, uh, July 31st, Umbrella Academy Season 2. Very excited for that. Uh, we're definitely going to do an episode yeah. on it. So, uh, yeah, we are getting short on time. So, we're going to just wrap it up with plugs. Uh, we have reached that special time of the night where we get to talk about what's coming up and going on on our channels and other platforms. And I say other platforms specifically. Well, wait for me to get to that part. Um uh, but yeah, so Brian, um, what have you been up to? What is coming up for you? Honestly, nothing came out for me on YouTube this week. Um, I don't know if anything's going to come out next week. I, a lot of my shows I've just not been uh, up to date on. Caught up. Yeah. Up no. to date on. And then we got the <laughs> stuff. And uh, uh, you said the C word, Brian. Mmm. <laughs> You gotta cut that out now for the YouTube version. At least it's only once. Yeah. Pandemic stuff. Pandemic stuff we got going on. Uh, I have to. Uh... See, this is what happens when I talk so much on my own. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Um... But anyway. I haven't done that much, and uh, hopefully I do something this next week. I don't know if I do. I'll keep you guys updated. Like you'll see it if I do it. Yep. Uh, links to Brian's YouTube channel is uh, in the description of the uh, show notes of the podcast, and in the description of the videos. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, so uh, for me. Blair's uploader has been down for like almost a month now, so I I physically can't upload anything. Although I have a fuck ton of backlog, I will tell you that right now. Um, I'm not going to upload it all, <laughs> but I will do the, le- the the finales, like Rick and Morty, Legends of Tomorrow, stuff like that. I have a um, Final Fantasy VII Remake review that recorded that I'm going to put out sometime soon. Um, then... I I'm also gonna do in the dark because I'm caught up on that. Uh, once the uploader starts working, uh, but the new announcement, um, I actually have um, opened up a new platform. I'm now streaming on Twitch. Uh, I mostly do uh, Fate Grand Order, the Fate mobile game. Uh, I'm really hooked on that, and the community is really great, really nice. Uh, I've started streaming. Um, pretty much, uh, I'm gonna try and do daily on the afternoons. Uh, since, you know, most of my shows come on at night. Uh, but I might do, uh, but I'm probably going to do uh, on weekends. I'm going to stream on, at night. Uh, but, yeah. So that's a lot of fun. Uh, if you want to just chill with me and uh, watch me play Fate Grand Order and just talk, um, definitely stop by. Uh, Elizabeth, be sure to add that link to the show notes as well. Thank, please and thank you. Uh, but, yeah. Um, it's good to be back. Uh, and uh, Hopefully, you'll catch us next time because next week we will be doing where is my notes i can i find my notes what are we doing brian i'm so out of practice um i know we had planned originally we were gonna do oh yeah oh yeah that's uh, right we were, we were gonna do keepo but yeah we're gonna do doom patrol i think yeah i said doom patrol yeah no wait is that it I think so. Are we? Are we doing Doom Patrol? Fuck! You'll find out. I'll I'll tweet it. We're running out of time. I'm so uh, Doom. Doom Patrol doesn't come out until the twenty fifth. Oh so, yeah, no, uh... yeah. There's some. There's something that we're doing. I don't. I don't know what we're doing. We can't remember. <laughs> Fuck! And we're uh, we're running out of time. I'll tweet it. I know. I know. Week. I know. Week after next, we're doing Love Victor. Yep. 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 Ah, uh, fuck. I, I, I don't know what it is. You find out when you tune in. Uh, you'll see it in your podcast feed. I'm sorry. Uh, we're being oh, for... 13, 13 Reasons, reasons why. why. I don't know. I know it was huge. Yes, 13 Reasons Why. Thank you. I don't know why I yelled that. Uh, 
we came up, we, we, we realized it at the same time. <laughs> 13 Reasons Why, the final season. We're doing that next week. And then Doom Patrol. Uh, oh, th- oh, yeah, no, then Love then, Victor. Then, yeah, then Love, Love Victor, Victor. Then Doom Patrol. Then Doom okay, Patrol. that is our schedule. Uh, if you if we were talking too fast and this was too chaotic, I will tweet it out. Um, and you'll at least see it in your podcast feed. We appreciate you for coming by. We've only got five minutes. We've got five minutes Thank left you. on the clock. So I'm just going to say peace and cut the stream off. Later.